I know I like it sultry, simple. I don't like it too loud and I don't like it too simple. So this is my definition of right in the middle of simple and all out there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uluwa MBC. If you haven't met me yet, and yes, some people call me Shante. I'm back again with a new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a summer inspired makeup look. I'm going to play with a little bit of color. It's not going to be too colorful, but at the same time, it's going to be simple, it's going to be glam, it's going to be colorful, just the way I am. I'm going to be using this brush set from BMO brand. It's their 10 piece brush set. It looks like this. Very pretty, I must say. It's rose gold. I think it's called the Under Deep Sea Brush Set. That is what I'm going to be using in today's video. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. To start off with the glam, I'm going to be fixing my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. So I'm going to leave my brows as they are right now. I'm not going to clean it up because I think that is where the problem starts from. When I try to clean it up, I mess it up. So I'm going to leave it today. And when I'm applying my foundation, I'm going to gently define the top. Moving on to the eyes right now. I'm going to be using just two colors on my eyes. And they're going to be the single eyeshadows from Haggai and Esther. I'm going to be using this one in the shade Inferno. And this one in the shade Thumbs Up. That's like an orangey and a reddish uh, color. So starting off, I'm going to be using the shade Thumbs Up, the orangey shade, as my transition color today. And I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush from the um, BMO brush set, using that to apply my transition color. You will note that I'm only tapping on the color on the um, concealer that I applied. This is because I didn't set the concealer because I wanted I wanted to like pick up the color a bit more. So I'm going to place the color on it as a way of setting the concealer before I begin to swipe the brush around it. So now that I have this transition like a little bit orangey, I don't really need transition color today, but I'm just going to use this to start with. I don't know why this isn't blending out right. Okay, so now I'm going to prime my eyelid space. And for that, I'm going to be using the Benai Clan White Primer. I'm going to tap this to spread it out. So now that I have the primer all distributed, I'm going to take the same blending brush that I've been using and then I'm going to go into the shade Inferno which is the darker color of the two colors I showed you earlier on and I'm going to be packing that in my outer corner. So for my inner corner today or the inner lid space, I'm going to be using the same shade Thumbs Up and I'm going to be packing that there. So now that that is packed, I'm going to go back into the blending brush that I've been using. I'm going to take a little bit of the darker color and just use that to blend out the outer corner so that there are no harsh lines so it isn't too rough. Lastly for the eyes, I'm going to be taking my alpha pigment. It's a silvery pigment and I'm just going to be patting on some of that pigment on my eyelid space. Just very, very slightly like so. So for now, this is all I'll be doing to the eyes. I'm just going to go on ahead now and line my eyes. And for that, I'm going to be using the Inglot 77 Gel Eyeliner. And I'm feeling kind of windy today, so as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and extend the wings of my eyeliner. For lashes today, I'm going to be wearing the Rian John Luxury Edition Mink Lashes. So that's my lashes all set. I know a lot of you asked me to do a video on how I wear my pulses. The truth is that I've actually filmed that video like twice and each time something just messed it up. So I'm going to try one more time and film it very, very soon. So you guys are going to see that shortly. And now I'm going to move straight to the face. So for primer today, I'm going to be using the Zikel Cosmetics Face Primer. I love, love, love this primer. And 
I'm going to be correcting my face with the Elegale Orange Corrector. To blend out the Orange Corrector, I'm going to be using the foundation brush from BMO. So the corrector is in and it's time for the foundation now. For today, I'm going to be using the Glam Beauty Velvet Matte Foundation in the shade Coconut. And before I proceed, I'm going to take a little of the foundation and just use that to define the top of my brow so that I don't mess it up with the brush. And now that we've got that sorted, I'm going to go on ahead to blend this foundation. You guys, I told you how amazing this foundation is. Can you just see that covering? Can you see that? So that's the foundation all in. Now we're going to move on to highlighting and contouring. Using the Colourpop's concealer in Deep Golden to highlight just a little bit. And I'm going to be applying some of the Zaron FZ45 foundation to contour. So to blend out the contour, I'm going to be using the brush I use for my foundation. And I'm just going to use that to gently blend that into my skin. And for the highlight, I'm going to be using my Nuvan Blending Sponge. <music> to set my immediate under eyes, I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Glam Beauty Powder. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Nika K Contour kit and I'm just going to use that to gently warm up my face back to my eyes I'm going to be lining my waterline with the inglot gel liner I used earlier on next I'm going to go back into my eyeshadow in inferno and I'm going to use that to smoke the black that I just applied Then I'm going to apply some ma mascara on my bottom lashes and I'm using the Zara Nettling Mascara. I'm going to apply the powder all over my face again just to dust off the excess setting powder and just blend out the whole of my face. <laughs> For blush, I'm using the Nika K Blush Kit and I'm going to be taking this peachy color right here and just putting that all over my cheek. And for that glow today, I'm going to be using the BMO Shine Shine Bobo Bronzing Palette. This is what it looks like. It's very decent, so you might not see it very well. But it has six highlight shades inside. I think I'm going to be using a mixture of these two colors here. A little bit on the bridge of my nose, right here, so that I can glow up your life. You know what I'm talking about. Almost done here now. I'm just going to move to my lips quickly. For my lips today, I'm going to be lining my lips with the Zaron Lip Pencil in Stallion. And then I'm going to be using the Omari Code Liquid Lipstick in the shade Water Scotch. This lipstick smells heavenly, like ice cream. I love this lipstick. Oh my God, Ugh. fire. And now to seal up everything, I'm going to be using the Novan Sleep Setting Spray. I'm going to go ahead, fix my hair, and then I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the time that you spent with me. And I hope that you stop by again when I upload another video. I'm going to make this easy for you. Before you go, I'm going to put up the links of other videos that I have created so that you can just click and watch. Yeah, until next time. I don't know if you asked me to do like my how I am. Um, for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Nika K contour. Um, contour. Yo, where did this come from?